<laughs> I think that has it, hopefully. I gotta learn how to edit. My ugly mug's probably gonna be cut off, but that's fine. Nobody cares about that. So I got on YouTube the other day, and I had an email that said I have 100 subscribers. So what's one to do? Make a video. Since I just got my figure in today, Scarlet Spider. Uh, from the PlayStation 4 game. Unfortunately, I've not had the privilege of playing said game because I don't have a PlayStation 4 or the money to buy one, which that is the issue. So, but you don't have to be a fan of the game or someone who's played the game to enjoy this figure particularly. Uh, if anyone who doesn't know, the Scarlet Spider is based off of the comic books back in, what was it, the late 90s? Marvel had a comic line going on called, it was the Clone, Clone Wars or something like, not Clone Wars, but the Clone Saga. There we go. Uh, I only read, like, the main storyline, but it was, it was insane. The amount of comics they was cranking out because people were enjoying it, and it just went on forever. But, we got the Scarlet Spider, and Scarlet Spider, his origin is he is a clone of Peter Parker. He went by the name of Ben Riley. I won't go into the details of all that because it's not a complicated story, but still. But yeah, he, uh, he's a clone of Peter. Uh, he was in exile for a little while and ended up coming back to fight crime. And this is what he this is his costume. Let's call that spider. And we have the box, standard, you know. Hot Toys box. It actually has the flip open panel here, which is pretty cool. You see all the mess inside, which the tray is over there on my chair. But yeah, there's the box. Yippee yippee. Don't need that. But here we go. The part that matters. Uh, I love this figure. Um, I've been debating on whether or not to get the advanced suit as well. This guy right here was a no-brainer. Um, all right, when he first went on pre-order, I didn't grab him right off the bat because I, I think it's because the number of pre-orders already had, you know, money, yada, yada. The usual when it comes to hot toys and this kind of collecting. And he was on, he went to wait list within like two days, man. I was like, oh my God, no. But luckily, my wait list converted. And I had a bunch of points and I think a coupon code or something as well. Which I applied to him, so knocked him out. Knocked the price down pretty well. He just come in today after he being postponed for two months. Which really sucked. Now, the figure itself is freaking awesome. Uh, he's, he's very different compared to the PS, the advanced suit figure. You know, I have that one, obviously, but of all the reviews and stuff that I've watched, talk about how you know, it's a rubbery suit, he has a lot of padding underneath to give him the bulked out look. This guy doesn't have none of that. It is a solid body with just a, it's a very weird fabric um, that he uses. It's, it, it does tend to stick together like a lot of people have talked about, dang it. But it's, it works. It lets him move around and achieve poses that that PS, that the advanced suit one just, it ain't, ain't going to happen. I'm trying to get this pose. I enjoy this pose, even though it's very simple. But considering the backstory of the character, you know, he's sitting there staring at the camera, thinking about the life that he didn't get to live as Peter Parker. Yeah, I just think it's cool. It's got some meaning to it. It's deep. Yada, yada. But, nice segue into the accessories. Real quick but you got the camera which this is actually fitting you know since Peter Parker because this is just based off the game and this isn't Ben Riley this is Peter Parker just his different suit you can get obviously so you got the camera which is cool actually fairly detailed got the little spider emblems on the neck thing there just put that on there and yeah, it's the, <laughs> the rest of his accessories are actually pretty strange considering they're just random 
He comes with a cup of coffee, which is very well done. Looks like mine's peeling off there. But yeah, you can see the coffee, the coffee bean, uh, what is it? Since 1962, which is, I believe that's when Spider-Man was created by old Stan. It's a lot better than a coffee cup that comes with, uh, it's, it's the same thing, it just has a wrap around it, the one that comes with the uh, Mark IV Iron Man. Because he also has the donut as well, which I find very strange. That one just doesn't fit at all. You know, it's the same donut as the Mark IV. And he comes with a pizza. <laughs> I guess, you know, in New York, you got to have you some New York pizza. Which, the, it, it's it's so well done, it's, it's kind of funny. The ink were just a fake pizza. Because... I mean, they, they shaded the bottom of it to represent burnt crust. You know, you got all the pepperoni and everything. Even the box itself, um, which appears to be under another light. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, the sun out. I lost so much of my light. The box itself is done really well, too. I mean, it has um, grease stains. Now, come on, man. That's freaking, that's insane. But there's none in the box itself, which is funny. It's just under it. And then you get this, uh, you get a different webbing with old Scarlet Spider here. Um, which represents a lot. My favorite era of Spider-Man comics are the Todd McFarlane era. He really accentuated um, Peter's web lines. When he was, I mean, they were just freaking huge. All the spiraled up, really bunched up in his hand like this right here. So this is really, really cool. That they put this in here. This is actually the first time the Spider Figures has come with this. I think uh, uh, I think the newer ones are going to have that, like the uh, the Far From Homes MCU Spider Man. But yeah, it comes with a special hand to hold it, which is also the one you use for the uh, other web line that he can hold. So that's pretty really cool. And then he comes with his little cell phone, which he is the only one that actually has a cell phone with a picture. The advanced suit Spidey, his is blank. And uh, I think the MCU Spider-Man, he has one too. But it's blank. So that's pretty cool. He's got a picture on there. It's the original suit on this one. And, and this is very cool. Just a little web. He's, if you have any kind of dynamic stands or somebody wants to create interesting things for your DTOF and have him like stuck to the ceiling. You use that web right there. So I think that's pretty neat. See all this crap over here. And uh, I was talking about earlier the comic books. Uh -huh. This is actually one of the first prints of the uh, Scarlet Spiders. Which one is this one? Web of Scarlet Spider. The new web slinger in town. Kind of like a play off the uh, old. The old uh, comic book cover where Peter quits being Spider-Man, which that's what happens in the comic books. They it's a big cover up that Peter is actually the clone when he's not, but he's tricked, so he leaves with Mary Jane and Ben Riley ends up being the regular Spider-Man. And for he wears the Scarlet Spider suit for a while, and if I do pick up the advanced suit, it's going to be for one reason, one reason only. And that's because when uh, Ben Riley became Spider-Man, he ended up, he didn't wear the Scarlet Spider suit forever. He actually ended up designing his own costume. And I freaking love his costume. Shot of it right there. And the, advanced, the uh, PlayStation 4 suit resembles it a lot. So I was thinking maybe getting it and modifying it painting all that white bits on it black like it's supposed to be with Spider-Man because this is from Spider-Man Web Carnage where uh, Ben gets infected with the Car Carnage symbiote he looks so awesome so that would be a cool figure right there a little comic book nerdage for you but yeah the, the articulation stuff on this guy is freaking it, it's a lot better from what I've heard and seen than the um advanced suit because he's not rubberized you know he doesn't have any bits on him that bulk him out it's just the figure itself so he can 
bend and all this other stuff. And get in some really cool poses. Punch in the air. But yeah. He's got toe articulation as well. Which is pretty neat. And you can put the hood on. I know that's a, a big what if with this guy. He can wear his hood, which I'm not going to put it on him because there's no point. But they just tell you don't leave it on there for too long because it can, of course, dye the, the red. The blue can come off. Even though there's not much blue inside, I mean, it's gray. Like a really light gray, almost whitish color. But whatever. He never wore the hood anyway in the comic books, and I don't think he does in the game either, so I mean, there's no point in it. But he comes with all the, the cool hands. They're upstairs. Crap. But he's got the basic ones, you know, the, the wall crawling hands. Um, he has another action hand like this, so he can hold the coffee and the donuts and stuff. So yeah, it fits in there just perfect. And the other one's for like the cell phone and hold the pizza, so he can be eating a slice while he's texting. Yeah, all that crap. And then the base, which is over there. Hold on. Oh, God, don't fall. Yeah. There we go. Trying to be steady here because uh, I don't have a very good camera. I'm just using my cell phone. Shaking all over the place with my big butt. But here's the stand. I think it's pretty neat. It's got the emblem from the game. And I don't know why they put Scarlet Spider suit. I guess because it's technically not the Scarlet Spider. It's just coming from the game itself. So instead of just saying Scarlet Spider or, or nothing like that, they put Scarlet Spider suit. Be um, which actually because I'd say where they're making more than one of these uh, figures from the game. Because you know, you got the actual Iron Spider coming out. Uh, the Stealth? Is it the Stealth suit? What is that one? Cause I, said, I never played the game, so I don't know which one. But they they got like two or three or more of these in the in the pipeline. The negative suit of the regular one, which looks freaking awesome. I might actually pick that one up myself. <clears throat> but they're just stand, you know. Got the little bendy pole and all that mess. What the hell was that crack? So that's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah. Try to keep this one short and sweet. I know my stuff's usually like thirty minutes, but. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. I'm so glad I picked this one up because just for nostalgia factor alone, it's a really, really good figure. I mean, even though I don't need all this, this silliness, the coffee and crap. But, I mean, he can actually be posed up and pull off those dynamic poses that a Spider-Man figure is supposed to be able to do, you know? He's freaking Spider-Man. Well, I've had a few other figures come in, too. I might do some reviews on uh, well, I got the Mark IV War Machine, which is so good. Um, <laughs> I finally got in that, uh, I think the last video I did, I talked about picking up the Concept Art Mark 46. I finally got it. Sold, or traded it for a Civil War Captain America, and then ended up picking up another one right before they went on wait list on Sideshow. So, I was happy to have it back. I mean... I never planned on selling it, but I couldn't turn down the trade for a Civil War Captain America because I just picked up a regular uh, Civil War 46, which I had to sell my Mark IV gantry to get. But yeah, I didn't care to, but I, I miss having it. Him and the concept art Captain America. Just what I just what they represent with the MCU. I think they're pretty neat. So I picked them all back up. But I might do some reviews on that. Uh... I'll have time going on vacation next week, and I won't be doing nothing but sitting in my fat ass in the house. Yay. But, but, a little bit of a segue here. I have decided to dive into the wild, wonderful, freaking awesome world, Gumpla. Oh, yeah. Because I love Gundams. I'm an anime freak. And this thing, I'm, man, I... That's what I'm going to be doing after I finish this video. Playing with my guns when I start working on him. But yeah. I've been feeling artsy here lately. You notice all these Jason masks behind me. 
I've painted those up just for something good to do. I have a really good one that I plan on wearing for Halloween. It's upstairs. Sorry. I, and I don't know how to edit or I would just go get it, bring it down here and be like, here it is. Right, popped in my hand, magic. So yeah, I might put up some of this stuff here too at some point. If I get this bad boy done, or maybe a, a progress video or just something for the crap of it. Just hey, I got 100 subscribers. <laughs> Where's my plaque? YouTube. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Scarlet Spider. If you're on the fence about picking this one up, man, you get him. Especially if, you know, like I said, if you have any kind of nostalgia, if you were somebody who read those comics back in the day, I mean, it was just a no-brainer to get to, to pick this thing up. And they say it, I don't even always think it's funny how they call them Toy Fair exclusives or this and that. Which they have first dibs on them, but eventually they go to Sideshow as well. So yeah, definitely, definitely worth being in the collection. And he's actually my first and only Spider-Man, oddly enough. Um, I started collecting, I missed out on all the MCU figures and well, all those Spider-Man figures. Of course, I don't really wouldn't, I wouldn't have picked up the Amazing Spider-Man. I didn't like that suit. The, the part two one was incredible on screen, but for what I saw of the figure, I don't really care for the tech suit. From uh, the MCU. I don't care for that Spider-Man period. But that's a whole other story. A whole other video right there. So. I mean I just never had a Spider-Man. And like I said. Uh, the game looks incredible. And I batted back and forth between that. Um, the MCU. Or the Advanced Suit Spider. Excuse me. But. Eh. I think I'm going to get the Justice League Batman next. I'm hoping that uh, Hot Toys will do. The regular suit. From the game. Which is a long shot considering, you know, the, the advanced suit is kind of the flagship of that game. So, who knows? I mean, they've done some crazy stuff before. Like, why in the world do they make that figure? But, so, you never know. But, again, here it is. Scarlet Spider. Worth every penny. Definitely add him if you can. If that wait list option pops up. Or if you have the money, just outright snatch him from somebody. Don't pass it up. Because, I mean, he, he's worth it. He is freaking awesome. But, till next time. Turn off.